what got me into therapeutic endoscopy was, uh, w was certainly totally your influence. I, I would not be an endoscopist today if it weren't for the conversations that we had. Now, you may, I mean, you may not recall because it wasn't so paramount in your mind, but for me, if you remember, when I was finishing gastroenterology, and I loved endoscopy, I loved our work, I was just a fellow. And I was thinking of doing some postgraduate research. And uh, I had chosen, uh, I was thinking of maybe I'd go down to New Jersey. There was this chap, Charles Lieber, who was mm. an expert in alcoholic liver disease. Mm. And with due respect to Charles, thank God I didn't end up <laughs> taking that route. <laughs> and you said to me, um, it's not a bad idea, but you know, I'm not sure where that's going. And, uh, and then uh, I sort of like, I, then I got into a little bit more away from cirrhosis over to bile acid metabolism. And then you started to smile a little bit more because I was going to go to England where Paul Salmon, mm. I mean, I was actually going as a fellow to Ken Heaton, yeah. who was a, a bile acid maven. But the, the, the joy in, in, in your face was that Paul Salmon, who was the then president of the British Society of uh, Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, mm, he was right. a president of endoscopy, and was at the hospital with Ken Heaton in Bristol, the Bristol Royal Infirmary. And, you, you know, you... you you sort of foresaw exactly what happened because I ended up doing bile acid spectrophotometry, I mean mass, uh, uh, I was a a a analyzing the bile acids every day on the bench in the lab, but every afternoon I'd be so fed up with it, <laughs> I'd go over to the endoscopy suite and I'd spend my time with Paul Salmon. Yeah. And that was the beginning of uh, sort of uh, postgraduate training in endoscopy. And, uh, and I think, uh, and you did the same with Paul because Paul, Corten had gone to uh, study motility in Louvain, yeah. and he was ready to come home. He was so ready to come back to Canada, and you said, Paul, you've got to go and spend time with Nip Sohendra. Yeah. And, you, and you encouraged yeah. him, and sure enough, Paul and I came back, and we were both thrilled with your encouragement and uh, what led really to the beginning of our career in therapeutic endoscopy. I don't know yeah. if you re all remember us. those days. All, all three of us. Yeah. All three of us. Yeah, well, you went over for IBD, yeah. and then uh, yeah. you know, something changed the direction. So yeah. no, it's those true. were the early it's, days. Uh, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how the little things really snowball and affect yeah. one's life yeah. uh, and, and obviously career. The uh, For sure, with uh, Paul Salmon, who in, in those days, I guess, was, uh, I guess, yeah, I, I guess between he and Peter Cotton in uh, in England, and uh, and it, I I suppose we have to watch how we say this about you know like what's wrong with bile acids right. or what's wrong with uh, doing uh, motility on pigs as, as part of one's focus or education. But uh, at least in those early days, uh, the only thing that one could say is that at least one learned some aspects about research and research pro protocols. But the, uh, the important thing, uh, certainly as when we were starting out, we felt that the real future, gallstones, and bile acid, for sure, important. But there were more eminent problems to be solved in patients, yeah. like stones and cancer and uh, bleeding 